So I have my responses here for a Google Form, and I want to show you the easiest way to get information out of it. So by default, it's going to give you a summary of your responses, which is really nice. So you can have a pie chart that shows you all your results, right? You can get all the answers to one question in one spot. You can, again, get a pie chart, questions in one spot, right? So this is, this is good stuff. This makes things easier, and it's a useful way of interpreting information. Um, however, sometimes you want to read an individual response. So you can go here to individual response, right? And you can get the question and the answer right here. And if you hit print, you can see everything, you know, here for you. Now this is just one person's response, right? And this one person's response is six sheets of paper, the way that Google Forms um, gives it to you. So let's say you're in more of a paper saving mood and you want to make it easier. So six uh, times 21, there's going to be a lot of sheets of paper to print out all of your individual questions. Um, while this is useful, if you have a survey with any kind of you know numbers here, 21 is a lot, that's going to be a lot of sheets of paper. Um, I'm going to show you a way to kind of simplify and make things a little bit better. So um, we'll take a break and then we'll move into what we can do next. It's going to take more time to set up. It's going to be harder, um, but your results are going to be much cleaner and nicer. I'll give you a, a preview. So instead of it being, um, you know, six times 21, right? I have 46 pages here of responses and you'll see, you'll see how we get to this. All right. All right. So I have this wonderful um, survey and I have my responses. But let's say I want to print my responses um, in a nice um, organized manner. That's going to be really hard to do because what happens is when you click view in sheets, you get to view in sheets, right? But this is not a very nice uh, printable uh, item here. So I'm going to show you guys how we can take this mess, which is going to print in um, you know a, a giant uh, mess, and turn it into something that is a little bit more uh, easy to digest, a little bit more easy to work with. So first thing we want to do is go back here and we're going to go to the questions. And what I'm going to do is just copy questions and paste them into this doc. Now, unlike normal pasting, I just want to add my little carrots here and there. Next, I'm going to go back and I'm going to repeat this process all the way through. All right, so now I'm just formatting this properly. I want to get rid of the highlight. All right now this is a nice color. Let's bump this up to 12 because, you know, my eyes are getting a little old. Now, the one thing that I think I will do, because what's going to happen is the text inside these characters is going to get replaced with an answer. I'm going to also paste the question in front so you can see the question and the answer in the same space. That's going to use a little bit more paper, but I think overall it's going to help out the quality of my uh, work here. All right, so that's all perfect the way it is. So now I have survey results, and then I have my question, and then my question repeated inside a carrot, next question. So that all looks pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do, go here, go to responses, and then I'm going to click view in sheets. And that's going to open up this. Now I'm going to go to extensions. And I'm going to go to Autocrat. Now if you don't have Autocrat, you're going to go to add-ons and get add-ons. Here you search Autocrat. And then you want to just click on that and install it. It's very easy. I'm going to go down to Autocrat and Launch. Now I'm going to click New Job. 
and I'm going to call this survey results next. Now I'm going to choose a template from Drive. And because I was just working on it, it should pop up here. Select. And I'm going to click Next. And I want to get things from Form, res form Response 1. The header row is going to be uh, row 1. What is your position in the school? See that's in carrots. Matches to what is your position in school? How many years? How many years? To what extent? To what extent? Now this one is a little confused. Do you feel that your education or training? So now, now I need to find it. Got it. We're, we're going to call this survey results again. And you can do this as a multiple Google Docs. So each individual um, response could create a Google Doc, but I like single out, uh, output mode because that puts everything in one spot. Uh, add page breaks between data rows. Yes, that makes things easier. Click next. I want to save it in my drive. Now I click save. And now I hit this play button. All right, now I can close this because the job is done. And if you look all the way to the right of my data, we have this information now, and I can click on it and get my survey results. And all of the answers are going to be here. Unfortunately, they all got numbered. And honestly, I don't like the way this looks because they're... Um, you know, everything looks the same. So I think we're going to fix this. And this is important because you probably want to be able to fix this. So I'm going to go ahead, click off this. I'm going to delete all of that because I didn't like it. And I'm going to go back to my template here. And we're going to delete our numbers. But I think maybe we'll just add a space between the questions. And then one more thing that we'll do just to highlight the difference between the question and the answer is we're gonna hit we're gonna bold all of the questions. Now I think we're gonna like this. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna go to extensions, we're going to go to Autocrat, and we're gonna click launch. Now I've already done all the work. You watched me do all the work. So now I should get a nicer response sheet by just hitting the play button because I just reformatted that Google Doc. And whatever you do to that Google Doc, when you hit that play button, it's going to um, kind of reformat it in the way that uh, you're looking at it now. So, all right, now if we scroll down, we have our links made once again. I can click on survey results. And now this looks a lot better. So what is your position? All right? Tells you what the position is. Answers are there. All right, nice and easy. And then there's a page break between our first and second response. And you'll see there's a page break between our second and third. So um, you know you can print this front and back and you'll have a really nice um, really nice document that you can work with. If you have any questions, please let me know.